Paige Spiranak might be better known for her social media and steamy pictures now, but that wasn't always the case. You might have seen golf somewhere on her feed, and that's because she used to be a prominent golfer. Yep, we said used to be a prominent golfer. So the real question is, why'd she quit a sport she was so good at? Did she have a bad experience with somebody? What secrets is she hiding behind that picture-perfect life? Hey guys, welcome back to Golf 365, where we fill you in on all the latest golf news. In this video, we're looking at five reasons why Paige abandoned her love for golf. From collegiate golfer with a promising career to those steamy pics on Instagram, we're giving you guys the full coverage into Paige's entire life. Brace yourselves, because we've got some dramatic stories to tell. First up, let's talk about her golf career. Paige loves opening up about her life, and that's what we love about the girl. On her podcast, called Playing Around, she recently talked about all the efforts she made to get better at golf. Even though she was just a kid, she still knew exactly what she wanted to be a pro golfer. Paige said that since she was homeschooled, she had all the time to practice every single day, from morning until night. In fact, her only goal was to get better and better. Then, when she was a highly ranked golf junior, she had a tough decision to make. She could either go to college or she could turn pro. And guess what? She chose college over golf. Even though that decision allowed her to play collegiate golf, her passion for the sport slowly began to decline. During her college years at San Diego State, Paige explained that she had a lot of growing pains. At that point, she was simply burnt out of dedicating her life to something and not really seeing the results. She said that golf is an interesting sport because you could work out, eat right, practice, and still not achieve your goals. And of course, it was really hard for young Paige to wrap her head around that. If that wasn't enough, then she also came from a family full of athletes. Her parents had always told her that if you put in the hard work and dedicate your life to something, then you will be successful. But unfortunately for Paige, that just wasn't happening. If anything, she was driving herself crazy because she felt like she should have been achieving at a much higher level. At that point, she felt like she had everything it took to be a world-class golfer, but she just couldn't seem to put it together. And that's the first reason why Paige gave up golf, because she was tired of dedicating her life to golf and getting nothing out of it. But wait! Did she really give up golf that easily? Oh no, that's not the Paige we know. Before you pass any judgments, there is more to the story. When Paige's passion for golf died down, she decided to pursue another hobby, social media. And lucky for her, she basically became an overnight sensation. Now, if you've ever scrolled through Paige's Instagram, then you must have noticed the golf-related content. Since she was one of the first golf influencers ever, she got an exclusive invite to go play in Dubai. And that's when she blew up. Everyone was obsessed with the hot new blonde girl who was playing golf in ways we'd never seen before. Everybody was talking about Paige, and her videos were spreading on the internet like wildfire. And at that point, she decided to do the smart thing and came back to golf for good. This time, Paige was more enthusiastic than ever before. She was reaching for the stars, and her biggest goal back then was to make it to the LPGA. But unfortunately, things didn't work out in her favor this time either. After just one year of playing professionally, she was mentally exhausted to the point where she didn't want anything to do with golf anymore. According to Paige, you fail in golf more than you succeed, and she was doing all that in the public eye. People kept telling her things like, you should quit, you should give up, and you're not good. And even though 2023 Paige seems like one of those girls who wouldn't care about what people say, she wasn't always like that. Back then, she had already been struggling with her mental health for years, and she just wasn't ready to face all this hate. So, eventually, she just broke. And that's the number two reason why Paige left golf, the never-ending criticism. Whenever Paige talks about that time in her life, she says that she just broke and stopped. Even though she thought she'd go back to golf someday, she's never actually gone back to try and play professionally again. And if all that criticism wasn't enough, then she's even heard some nasty comments at various country clubs. Paige has been pretty open about how a club didn't want to be associated with her in the past, simply because of the way she presented herself. She also revealed that many people have made her upset by calling her outfits inappropriate. But no matter what she said, she never got into the details of what really happened. But get this, in a recent turn of events, she decided to expose everything. That's right, we've got all the nasty details on those incidents. In a short video on Instagram, Paige decided to talk about what happened last summer when she was invited as a guest. According to her, she was dressed totally appropriately for the event, but an older female member cornered her in the parking lot. The woman told her that her dress was too short and she looked inappropriate for a golf event. And if that wasn't enough, then the woman even went out of her way twice to yell at Paige for her choice of clothes. 
Ouch. After that, Paige said she cried all the way home. And if we're being honest, then we feel really bad for her. On a similar note, Paige also told the world about her run-ins with people at country clubs. She recalled an incident from back when she was just a junior golfer practicing with her mother. Even though she was young, she still knew how to take care of the course. But despite Paige's awesome golfing skills, some guy decided to drive three fairways over to grab the sand out of her cart. Then he forcefully put the sand into her hand, grabbed it, and showed her how to fill a divot. Paige said she would always fill her divots, and that if she didn't, then her mother would. And despite all that, this guy just kept watching her the entire time, waiting for her to do something wrong so he could come over and yell at the junior female golfer on the course. In another short clip in the same series, Paige also revealed when she was just a junior golfer, they actually brought a dollar bill out in front of everyone on the driving range. Why, you ask? Well, to measure her skirt. She was just 13 years old at the time. We're not surprised to hear that young Paige found these incidents absolutely mortifying. And that's another big reason why she decided to quit golf for good. Finally, it's time for the last reason why Paige quit golf because she thinks the sport is elitist, stuffy, and exclusive. Everyone knows Paige is the kind of girl who always speaks her mind. Instead of keeping her feelings about golf to herself, she chooses to be totally unfiltered and open about the topic. She says she hates how she was never welcomed into the world of golf and how she's still often made to feel like an outsider. At this point, it's pretty obvious that Paige has both the skill and the passion for the game. Still, some people say that she just doesn't belong on the greens. According to her, she's not refined like those other golf players. Players. Instead, she's raw, real, and wears whatever she wants. Since she's always been so different, playing golf has never been easy for her. In fact, she even said that golf is the absolute worst place for her to be because she doesn't fit the traditional mold of what a golfer should look or act like. Since there's just too many strict dress codes and expectations about golfers, Paige never felt like she belonged in the sport. She's even been called derogatory names just for wearing a tank top while playing. And if there's one reason why Paige had to quit golf, it has to be all this hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. She's the kind of woman who likes being unapologetically herself, and golf just wasn't letting her do that. So, instead of compromising on her true personality, she switched things up and decided to become a social media influencer. And hey, she's pretty darn good at that too. Before we wrap up, there's just one last question left to answer. Will Paige ever come back to golf? By the looks of it, the answer is probably no. She's doing pretty good in the world of social media, and there's no reason why she'd come back to a sport that gave her nothing but hate. But even though Paige had been super successful with her golf content, she did reveal that she stays up at night by the idea that she failed as a player. According to her, if she had the choice to be doing what she's doing or play on the LPGA Tour, she'd pick the LPGA Tour. It was always a goal she wanted to achieve, and it was a dream that she'd worked so hard for. She's also said she wishes she would have checked it off her list before she went into doing media work full time. But that's not always how life works, right? And that's a wrap for this video. Do you think Paige belongs on the greens? Or is she much better as a golf influencer? Let us know in the comments below. And hey, speaking of golfers on social media, do you know who's the most trending influencer right now? Make sure you check out the next video because we're counting down the 10 most famous influencers who play golf. See you there.